He's a two-time world champion. Fighting out of Perth, Western Australia and representing Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, the man who took over Australian Muay Thai royalty, who defeated the one and only gunslinger, John Wayne Parr. Please welcome the weapon, Toby Smith. Gentlemen, these two warriors now step in the ring to go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the oldest proving ground. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening. It is now time to separate the men from the boys. Sanctioned by the WA Combat Sports Board. Our judges at ringside, Charlie Bellamy, Alan Pond and Miss Tiana Cavalli. And when our timekeeper at ringside, Ms. Sharon Buckholtz, and our physician, Dr. Patty Golden. And our referee in charge is Mr. Bill Seth. Proudly brought to you by Terrace Engineering. Five by three minute rounds, full tie rules, and a world-class middleweight bout. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Kingsway Indoor Stadium, Perth, Western Australia, are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it's fight time! Five by three minute rounds, introducing first from the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, trained by Rena Sadugi from the red team. Official weight, 73.9 kilograms. Standing five feet, 10 inches tall. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, he's wearing the blue shorts with a black trim. He has a professional fight record of 114 fights, 84 victories, two draws, and 49 by way of knockout. He is a six-time European champion, a 10-time national champion, and a two-time world champion. Fighting out of Paris, France, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, bonjour, the magician, Johan Bosséjou. And his opponent to my left, fighting out of the red corner. Trained by Blair Smith from the tie pit. Official weight, 73.1 kilograms, standing six feet tall. Tonight, he is wearing the red shorts with a white trim. He is a professional fight record of 39 fights, 32 wins, two draws, and 19 by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, the man who defeated the gunslinger, John Wayne Parr. He is a two-time, two-time world champion. Fighting out of Perth, Western Australia, and representing Australia, please welcome the weapon, Toby Smith. Fighters and centering, please, for final instructions. Okay, boys, I want a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Listen to me at all times. This is a Muay Thai fight. We will use Thai command. Yut, yet, and chok. You understand? Touch gloves, let's come out fighting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the fighters are ready. The judges are ready. Kingsway Indoor Entertainment Center. It's time to make some noise. Very privileged here for one by day here with Jake, future uh, UFC champion, I think. <laughs> Call him the Hopefully, that's, that's the dream. <laughs> here we go, round one. You see the French is very respect. tentative, yeah, a lot of respect. Toby's always very cautious about what he's going to throw first up. Oh, lovely left kick. Very strong and powerful, isn't he, Johan? Definitely. The question on everyone's mind has been who's going to be the man to stop Toby Smith. He's been on an absolute rampage. He's unstoppable at that weight. 
And after beating John Wayne Parr, he's just gone from strength to strength and he's proved that he's probably the best in the world at this, at this weight. Could this guy be the man we'll to find beat? out tonight. Definitely. Oh, lovely left nice hook hard the on the back leg. Yep. Ooh, spinning, spinning kick. Spinning heel kick. Nice hard kick. Starting to pick it up. Even though they're, they're filling each other out, everything is hard. They don't throw anything for the sake of it. Every punch is hard. Every kick is snappy. Exactly. You never know what's going to land. You see the footwork oh, of the, the Frenchman. landing the rights. The footwork of the Frenchman, a little bit more fast-paced as opposed to Toby. Just stalking down, feeling what he's, seeing what he's got. Johan, very light in his feet. Nice knee. And his weight's very centered. So he's able to throw either the right or the left really quickly. Yep. We're seeing that now. Yeah. And he's also not scared to switch it up. I saw in the last, last bout that uh, Toby fought against Diesel Leck. His knees came into play in the round two and three, and they were a telling factor. I definitely think that Toby's the bigger of the two in the clinch. Ooh, oh, nice left, left hook. hook. Toby not, not rushing, just taking his time. Johan is... Both looking for the openings. Definitely. You don't want to waste any energy throwing punches that aren't going to land. When Toby's pressing forward, Johan's very hesitant. Nice little left kick. I like there Toby's going for that. Oh, jumping right kick. Toby's going oh, for that one. switch left to the back leg. Oh, nice slip oh, uppercut there. See, Toby's got to be careful. Johan, he's throwing, he's throwing some dangerous stuff. He's leaving himself open, but you never know what can land. Yes. Nice to the body. Jake, you're definitely right. They're very unorthodox style, the Frenchman. You know, he's throwing a lot of spinning stuff and. Uh, Toby, just textbook knee there from the left side. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes that innovative stuff mm. is what wins you the fight. You look at guys like you know, Conor McGregor, um, John Jones, the guys that mix it up and bring new things Comes from to nowhere. the game. Yeah, big game changer. And then also a lot of the time, the guys that are basic, hands up, straight punches like GSP, they're the ones who do well also. Definitely. Yeah, that's, that's what we're seeing. Yeah, that was a good round. Very good. Seconds out. Seconds out. Here we go, Jake. Round two between the Frenchman and Toby, the weapon smith from Australia. Yeah, Toby's starting to pick it up now. Those right hands, the double rights of the Frenchman. Very hard. Those right uppercuts. Both opening up. Here we go. This is what we wanted to see. Hammer and tong, uh, Jake, that's for sure. See, you got to be careful. Yeah, trying to kick that back leg. Toby just misses a low left kick, caught on the rope. Referee Bill Seth spits them apart, starts again. He's only landed a couple of those kicks on that back leg. And the freshman, <laughs> just hanging on the top rope there. <laughs> Ref Bill Seth, just breaks him out of the ring there. Oh, spinning kick again. Oh, the freshman. <laughs> Gotta say, he's getting a lot more airborne than he's getting a bit feisty now. Yeah. Toby Smith says, no worries. What an entertaining night of fights. Definitely, mate. This fight brought to you by Taris Engineering. Five by three minute, full tie rules. Very explosive bout. It's only round two here in the main event as Toby Smith <laughs> goes to work with the clinch work. Excellent clinch. I don't want this fight to end, I just want to keep going. <laughs> but I don't, I don't think it's, it's going to go the five rounds it's the way they're swinging. I don't swinging. think it is either, mate. One's going to guess or one's going to get put to sleep one of the way. Other way. Oh, he's right, uppercuts are working well. Switch guard right. Freshman, oh! Toby's going to be careful. And again, Toby's doing a good job. Every time he comes in, he knows the Frenchman's going to try something, keeping the guard up. And Toby just sticks to his gun, sticks to what he knows, doesn't try not to get sucked into this game. Keeping everything clean and tidy, everything textbook, coming forward with the clinch, throws it knees when he has to. All he has to do. Nice low kick. Working those legs, hard elbow. Both throwing big elbows. Punch nice over the corner, going Toby. to work. The Frenchman covering up in the red corner there. Here comes Toby Smith. Toby's, he, Toby's waiting, he's being patient. Spinning elbow again, a little bit more unorthodox stuff from, from the Frenchman. Toby Smith just stalking, not just caging him off, just taking his time, throwing the elbows when he has to. 
Nice low kick. Good kick on the back leg. He's only landed a few, but they're taking their toll. Oh, definitely. You Frenchman see the Frenchman slowed down a lot. Frenchman has a lot of unorthodox movement, but he's also causing a lot. He's, he's tiring him. This looks like Toby could keep this up all day. All day. Toby Even though Toby's relentless. thrown twice as many punches, being more active, it takes more out of you to receive those, those, oh, those strikes. Definitely. And being slightly smaller of the two, I think, oh, I think in the end of Toby's shots is just very tiring. So size doesn't make a difference in this fight. Definitely. Lee's in the corner loving it. Here we go. All these strikes taking their toll. Do it. Break. You can see Toby Smith very, very text textbook. Everything he throws is, you know, it's nothing out of character. Despite the heat, he just keeps on doing what Toby Smith does, which is excellent. That's all he has to do. Toby seems to use angles really well. Rather than using muscle, he uses a person's body weight against them. Definitely. We were kicking that back leg. Johan knows he needs to work now. He's been more active. I think Johan, Johan, you can tell by his body. Oh, nice hard inside. You can tell by his body shape. Jumping spinning kick. He's explosive. So he's, he, he recovers quick, comes out, explosive in the first half of the round, and then he will die off towards the end, end of the round. That's when Toby's going to start landing those hard elbows again. Yeah, the key to beat Toby Smith, if he, if he plans to beat Toby, he's got to keep that up for five rounds for the whole round. He can't afford to lose the gas towards the end of that round. A lot easier to say than do. Yes, that's correct. Johan's down there trading. Toby's got to be careful with the spinning back elbows. Oh, Toby Smith landing the elbows to the side of the head there. No warning from Blair, uh, Bill, Bill Seth. Nice kick there from Toby Smith on the left side. Toby working the body. Something you don't see too, too often in tie fights. The body shots. Body work. Body work is very important to cut that gas tank. Ooh, Toby just misses a sniff kick there. The French man, you're looking at his face from here, Jake. He doesn't look like he's too fade. Nah. And that could always be a mental thing. You don't want to show anyone that you're hurt. Yeah. But Toby knows what his punches are doing. He knows that he's hurting him. Both just staying steel faced. Not showing any facial expression at all. Good knees. Frenchman still firing back, despite the onslaught from Toby. Nice left. Toby's kick there. trying to work that back leg kick. He's bringing those knees up. I think he even wants to chop that back leg. Toby's finding a home with that left kick every single time that he throws it. The Frenchman has, doesn't have an answer. Nice jumping knee there from Toby. Good Frenchman fires one back of his own. Nice left kick again. Oh, kick for kick. It's kick for kick here, it's, it's excellent. The crowd are loving it here, Jake. Spinning elbow there from Johan. Nice left Johan, kick again. He's taking everything Toby's throwing at him. Toby, yeah, Toby's giving him the kitchen sick and Johan just keeps standing, he keeps firing back. He's not, he's not letting. Toby get away with anything. Every time Toby hits him, he hits Toby back. Well, the crowd have definitely got what they paid for. Jake, the, the elbows and knees, the kicks. The Frenchman is here to yeah. fight just as much High as Toby. High pace fight. Love it. A great bout. Johan's starting to look fresh again. He's sort of just... It's like nice he's taking this round just to... He'll just take what Toby's giving, but he's just trying to catch his breath. Trying to finish this round out strong. One thing about the Frenchman, Jake, watching this run, he's very durable, mate. He's very durable. Oh, comes close to round four. Three rounds to zip, Jake. I think he has to pull something out of the bag here to try and beat Toby Smith. Uh, I think that might be what he's counting on. You know, he's spinning back elbows. You know, if you throw enough of them, one's going to land, and one's all it takes. One's all it takes. He's certainly right there, Jake. And we'll Good see elbows. what happens for round four. Toby the Weapon Smith from Australia here versus Johan Bosajor. Referee in charge, center ring, Bill Seth, even iron things. 
Nice clinch work we're here with Toby the weapon. Yut, yut, yut. Toby, Johan almost they go out of the, the ropes. <laughs> No matter what Toby's doing, he's just grinding. He grinds. He's clinching. He's you know, they say, oh, and he lands a hard strike. Lovely shot. Ah, he, said he, he, he said he slipped. He said he slipped. Unfortunately, Jason, regardless of the slip, he's getting that count. That's a 10 8 round to Toby. Oh, good right up again, and then followed up with the right hook. The double ups are working well for him. That's what Johan needs to do. He needs to realize what's working well and keep working on that. What's yeah. not working well, get rid of it. Work the double ups are working it. good. Definitely. The hands are definitely landing really well, but he needs a little bit more than just the hands to beat Dude. Toby Smith. Dude. Toby Smith is a weapon in, in all eight weapons. Fists, shins, knees and elbows. Here comes Toby Smith again, just streaming forward. If nice. It's, I love it. If, it. if he's in range, he's throwing. He throws. If he's at a distance, he's throwing punches, kicks. If he's in close, knees, elbows. See the Frenchman, he still stands, he still trades. And Toby just landing a barrage of punches and kicks. Good inside. The Frenchman almost he's just got no nerves, he just doesn't even feel it. There's a great bout here for the crowd. The crowd are absolutely loving it, Jake. The crowd It's not often what you a way see to a man finish off a stand up to Toby fights. Smith like this. Yeah, definitely right mate. Nice elbows. Nice elbows. Yeah, nice Johan, he's starting to feel it now. He's slowing down. Starting to gas a little bit by the looks of it. This Blowing is where hard. Toby starts to work. Toby's got to land that one hard. There and we go. And he's dropped him with a right hand. Is it a right hand or a left Toby. elbow there, Jake? Three. I couldn't quite see. I couldn't quite see myself, but it was, it was hard. Here we go. Two knockdowns Second for the round knockdown Toby. for this round. Toby wants to get that third. Where he's going to work. He's going to work. Five seconds left. Still got to be careful. Johan's still dangerous even though he's hurt. Oh, and he survives the round. Going to the first very round. Lucky. Wow. Five rounds. One more round to come, but he survived yeah. to the fifth round. If, if Toby keeps that work rate up, he could finish and still in this last round. Or he could, you know, hang on, get the win on points. But that's not Toby's style. He's not going to do that. He's going to go for the finish. He's here to go for the kill, Jake, that's for sure. Fifth and final round. Here we go, straight back into it hard again. It's as if it's the first round they're going that hard. Toby knows he's got him hurt. Look, grinding, grinding. Push him into the corner, using his head, using every part of his body. It's a question of can this Frenchman last this round and what can he do to Toby to hurt him? Toby just keeps coming forward, un unbreakable. Johan's still in there. He's still in there. He still thinks he can get this fight. He still, all he needs to do is land one solid punch, one solid elbow. Those spinning back elbows, they're dangerous. Yeah, Toby does have to be careful not to get hit with anything silly here in this final round. And I love that nice to body shot. Toby will, nice body Toby shot. will go for the finish. Even though he's won this whole fight, he'll go for the finish. And he or won't he'll stop. get knocked out trying. Exactly. And if he does, then oh well. He's not going to sit back and win a, win a fight on points. To him, it's a fight. It's not a sport. He's in there to win. Absolutely relentless is Toby Smith shot. as he comes with those body shots. Inside the last two minutes of the final round here, the main event, Nemesis Another 11. One. A fabulous body work here by Toby Smith. Ah, the Frenchman dang. just takes it. He's tough. He's tough, that's for sure. Definitely like to see the Frenchman come back and fight some of the other middleweights here in Australia and see how he fares against them. Toby, I think he's just too tough today. He's done all the, all the homework and the preparation today and just ground him down. I think he's got this one in the bag, unless the Frenchman can pull something away with the win. Nice jumping knee there, right, right knee there. Toby put pressure. Frenchman's starting to break it, and he knows it's slipping away. Now he's just covering up. Nice body waiting for that final bell to go. Toby's still working, still working away. Still looks fresh. Oh. Ooh, was that a low blow? Was that a low blow? Yeah. That was hard. Before that time. Johan will take that time out. 
Going to get a breather here. Some time to recover. When you're ready. But also, not that Toby needs it, but Toby's getting time to recover as well. So he's going to come out hard again. Can he finish him inside the fifth round? Or will it go to a decision? We'll soon find out as Toby just keeps coming forward again. Even, even in the last 10 seconds, Toby still needs to keep his guard up and be smart. Keep it tidy. As keep long it as there's time on the clock, Johan can win this fight. Yeah. Only always looks one shot away. Nice work from Toby. Just keep him over the nice push kick. Body kick again. Nice body kick again on the left. Three in a row unanswered. Now Johan's gonna, he's gonna start working now. He's got Toby in the corner. He's gonna go for it. He knows he has to do something. He's going, he's going. Nice work to Toby Lanning. Two beautiful unanswered body kicks here on the left side. Last 10, Last seconds, 10 seconds, here we go. Is Toby gonna work, he's gonna hold on. Johan's gonna swing, he's going. He's going for it. There we go, what a fight. Go. What a fight, Jake, that was, that was great. What great a to watch. Great to watch, great to call, mate. This would have to be the absolute best point high event I've ever been to. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. Judge number one had it at 50-43. Judge number two added 50 44, and judge number three added 50 43 for your winner from Australia. There you go. Toby, Toby Smith, your winner in the main event of Nemesis 11. Nemesis Thanks to 11. all the sponsors. Thank you, Pat Talbot, for putting on a great show once again. Thank you to all the fighters. Thank you to everyone who came to support. Thanks to everyone who's live streamed. Wow, Toby, that was what a fantastic fight. Let's take us through it as well. Probably the first couple of rounds, unexpected. We didn't see much Muay Thai at the start. It was more of an elbow fest, more of a boxing skill and everything else. Did you, uh, did you feel he got trapped and uh, was playing his game in the first couple of rounds? How do you think he went? Uh, just doing what I do, man. I don't know. First two rounds, I don't really just see what he's got, see what I'm doing, then try work from there. You cut him, obviously, in the third round. What are the instructions leading there from Blair in the last couple of rounds? Was that to strike it or more towards lead with the legs? He, uh, Dad just said, keep doing what I'm doing, just pressure him and, yeah, use my elbows and more punches as well. The weapon, Toby Smith, July 16, we will see him. Congratulations. On behalf of everyone, ladies and gentlemen, Patrick Talbot, Bill Seth, the Nemesis Fight Team, my name is Perry Kale. Honour and pleasure being your master of ceremonies, everyone. Please drive safely on the half of Paris Productions. Go fight live. Have a good night, everybody, and see you next time.